Hello, in this video I'm going to go over the basics of the statistics mode on the Casio FX CG50 graph and calculator. Now, this mode is very complex with a lot of features, and so this video will only act as a basic guide, a uh, starting point for you to explore the mode further. Um, it's number 2 on your home screen, uh, the main menu, and when you enter it you'll be presented with this view, a number of lists into which you can input data. To do so, uh, simply enter your uh, number and then click execute and that will automatically take down to the next row so you can enter more data. Oops. Like follows. Once you've entered some data, you think, can then click F2 and then F1 to perform some one bar calculations on your data. For example, here we can see that the mean uh, x bar is 6.5. The sum of our, data, of our data points is 52. Well, the sum of the squares uh, is 380. The standard deviation is 2.29 and so on. Scrolling down, we can see we've got our first quartile, median and uh, second quartile. So lower quartile and upper quartile. And uh, plenty of other um, data as well. Now, what, uh, you can also click F1, and here you can form some graphs. Click F6, and then scroll down uh, to select what type of graph you want to plot. You can see you can do scatter, XY line, MP plot, pie, uh, charts, histograms, me median boxes, bar charts, uh, end distributions, and so on. In this case, I'm going to plot a box plot. Well, also known as Medbox here. Clicking Exit. We can then click F1, Graph 1, to graph our first graph, the list 1. And there you go. Now, what if you've got some frequency table data? It'd be a bit tedious to enter, say, 50 threes, uh, if that's what our, our group data had. Um, to do this, we can use List 2 to enter in um, the frequency of each of our data values. So, for example, let's say we had 58, 77 sevens, 6 tens, 4 fives, only 1 six, 8 nines, and 94 threes, um, and let's say 100 fours. We can then click, um, once you've exited the graph menu, you can then click F2 uh, to go back into your calc mode, and then F6 for set. Here, by scrolling down, we can set our var, uh, one var frequency. Uh, by default, it is one, so each of our data values will have a frequency of one. But here we can click F2 and select a specific list to act as our frequency, in this case, list two. Clicking exit. We can then click one var. And here's our new uh, cal calculated values using um, the new frequencies. And entering back into the graph mode and clicking F6 for set, um, let us now plot a, a pie chart of our new frequency table data. And here we go, a nice uh, pie chart showing our data. Okay, so there you have it, a very basic overview of the statistics mode on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. As I said, this is really only a starting point for you to uh, explore the mode more fully for example, the test menu, the, um, this menu, the distribution menu, the tool menu, um, which lets you sort your, your data. Um, and uh, so on, you can even export your list as a CSV file, um, allowing you to uh, overwrite your lists, but then load uh, old lists back later. Um, however, that is all for this video. Thank you.